All right, welcome everybody to my first ever YouTube unboxing. Not sure how I got to this position, never really thought I'd be in this position, but that's not why I clicked on today's video. The reason I clicked on this video, Xbox controllers. This one, the regular Xbox controller that comes with the Series X or Series S. Very nice controller, very good buttons. Problem with the buttons is, there's just not enough of them. You try to move the sticks at the same time, you really only have the triggers and the bumpers, and that's it. You can't tell you anything else. Now typically, the way to get around this is by buying Xbox's insanely expensive Elite controllers that are twice the price. Well, what if I could show you a product that costs as much as a regular Xbox controller, but gives you all the perks of an Elite controller? Well, that's what I am about to show you today. This is the Fusion Pro 2 from Power A. It is a wired only controller. That is about the only drawback, if you can even call it a drawback, because wireless, wired, why don't they make the same? It doesn't matter. So, starting with the box, this box is really nice, very well put together. On the back, you have a explanation of what exactly this controller can do, but that's what I'm here to talk to you about. So, let's get this thing open. Inside the box, you will find a soft leatherette hard case with the logo embossed on it. This is raised a little bit. Nice little design on this side. We'll show a little bit more in a minute. Pulling out the hard case and setting it to the side just for a minute, you have your normal instruction manual leaflet. It's just normal, normal leaflet. The logo very nicely embossed on it. Flip it over, go ahead and open it for you. There's a couple, of, a couple little surprises in here. Biggest one being these stickers. These are stickers. They are absolutely amazing. The color, the detail. I just love, love, love these stickers. They're amazing. Behind the stickers, you have your normal plain Jane instruction manual. It's nice. Feels good. Print quality is decent, but no one ever buys one of these for the print quality, don't they? Moving on to my favorite detail of this unboxing. The box. What is this? I mean, who, who goes out and designs, I want to put this amazing design on the back of a box that goes on the inside of another box? I mean, come on. But it's just amazing. The detail is amazing. The, you've got matte on the green and the black. Uh, sorry, gloss. Everything else is matte. The colors are vibrant. I love it. I just love this box. That is my favorite, favorite thing about this unboxing. I should not be as excited about a box, but I am. Uh, and then you've got that detail that carries over to the side of the box. Now moving on to the main event, there is the controller in the case. This case is very nice. The zipper is very, very smooth. Now I love tiny details. And if you can tell already, this, this unboxing has a lot of tiny details. I just love the orange zipper on the inside of this case. Contrast really, really well with the black. Now picking up the main controller itself, it has a very good hand feel. About the same, maybe a little heavier than a regular Xbox controller. Um, as you can tell, the colors are a bit different. This is a more like a soft touch gray. This is more of a green gray, but this is rubberized, um, as well as rubberized on the back. Um, you have your normal sticks, the normal X, Y, A, B, and buttons, the D-pad. The D-pad is a little squishier than the regular Xbox controller compared to the regular one. Regular one's a lot more clicky, but it still has a very good feel. One interesting thing about this is you have a volume up, volume down, and chat mute that goes along with the 3.5mm headphone jack. This will actually turn red when you are muted to let you know normal Xbox control button, and I did say this is wired. Um, USB Type-C, very recessed, it's going to be pretty hard to pull that cable out. On the back, you have your paddles. Um, these are very, very close to the Xbox Elite controller paddles, and that they are magnetic and removable, if you would like. Um, you can remove the entire Pro Pack, if you would like, as they call it. You press this button in, lift up, pull away, and then there's a door that goes ahead and covers under that, if you would like it. Snaps right in, 
you're ready to go. One more thing to note is you do have the triggers. They are adjustable. That is middle. And that is short pull. They feel really, really good. Um, you've got a program button that allows you to program these paddles to any of the other buttons on the controller. Speaking up the cable, very nice braided cable, about five and a half, six feet long. Um, this feels really good, very nice weight to it. Uh, the connector is very, very robust. USB type A, normal, but does have a quick disconnect. That's pretty neat. They did not have to put that in there, but they did. Um, so if you want to take it on the go, if you have another cable, you can just quick disconnect. A couple other things to note, does come with two extra thumbsticks that are raised. This one is a convex version. The other one is just a standard concave, also raised. They're really easily swappable. Here's the door I was talking about that you can put over where the Pro Pack goes. And that's about it. Last thing is actually a surprise. You get a full another faceplate. This one is white, does not have the rubberized grips, um, does have these green rings on it, makes the contrast really nice. Now you might be wondering, well how do I change it? I need a screwdriver, don't I? No, you don't. These are actually magnetic faceplates. All you have to do is grab this little lip here and pull up, take the new one, and just set it right back down. Snaps right into place, feels really good. This is more like the normal matte finish you'd find on a normal Xbox controller. Um, I like the black one just a little better because I'm a fan of black, but I also like the rubberized grips. Um, and here's where you can also take the thumbsticks off. You can pull the thumbsticks off and swap out the taller ones. So all in all, this is my favorite Xbox controller ever. Um, and it only does, it does only cost the about money for a regular Xbox controller without rubberized grips, without paddles, without the trigger locks. It is about $63 US um, as opposed to the $60 you would find for the normal Xbox controller. I think it's a great deal. I think everyone should have one and go ahead and pick it up. If you guys wanna see a part two to this video where I give my the thoughts and opinions uh, after playing with it for a little bit, uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. Leave a comment what you like, what you did not like, and I will see you soon.